Soul Survivor Outdoor is an outdoor adventure company with the primary objective being to evangelize today's military and families. What I see out of Soul Survivor is uh, they're partnering with some great speakers. They have incredible venues uh, so that we get Marines off the base, out of uniform, active and engaged and involved and it makes them much more prone to really listen to what we have to say when we sit down and talk to them. God's always reaching for them, wanting that relationship. And sometimes, if, even out here in this desert, you see these, one, these young men and women climbing the rocks, doing things, getting involved. God created this. You're a part of this. He's here. Let's talk. As a warrior, you can still be a warrior and still follow Christ. That's who we want to reach. That's why we're here let people know, be a warrior, follow God, and you know what, you're not alone. It's about getting these young people out doing high energy stuff with the ultimate goal being able to introduce them to Christ or help them to have their walk with Christ be a lot stronger and tighter. One thing about Rick is like, his passion for Soul Survivor is probably, is crazy. I've never seen anybody as passionate as something as Rick is for Soul Survivor. And not only does he have a, the passion as a, as a Marine, but also as a, as a Christ follower, you know? But as, a, as the president of Mighty Oaks, it's something I really appreciate because it's what drives me to do what I do. The Marine Corps has many strengths, but one of the things I think we've neglected, and as, as a Marine Corps, we're acknowledging this, is spiritual fitness. So resiliency is, is a big part of that, and, and it's hard to be resilient when you don't have a spiritual foundation and something that sets your moral compass. Spiritual resiliency is a very, something that's very important to me. You know, I went uh, mentally and physically prepared to Afghanistan, but I don't believe I was spiritually prepared. And you have to have organizations like Soul Survivor who are gonna take an intentional effort to be able to, to prepare these warriors, not just mentally, not just physically, but spiritually for the, for the hardships of military life. You know, for those who are, who are curious about how to, uh, how to support a military nonprofit or military organization, there's a lot of them out there uh, to pick from. And, uh, you know, I'd say always do your homework. Find out what they're actually doing. People talk about the problems a lot when it comes to causes. Talk about veterans committing suicide and post-traumatic stress. But there's very few organizations that really focus on the solution. And Soul Survivor is one of those organizations that focus on the solution by preparing our military warriors for their service and by uh, giving them avenues to, to get help on the back end. Military service members that are 19 years old and they're ready to lay down their life for us in this country. And who more deserving to have the opportunity to receive the gospel of Christ than this person that has the idea, they may not even know where it comes from, no greater love has someone than this than to lay down their life for a friend. I would in encourage you to look at how you could support a soul survivor, either from volunteer efforts or from supporting financially. I mean, our, things like this, efforts like this, do not exist without the, the support of a grateful nation who's willing to get behind and write checks and, and make donations to make this, uh, these things possible and available for our warriors.